Hey Defenders, welcome back. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how we can use a new approach to our vulnerability management, and that is by integrating the Exploit Prediction Scoring System, or EPSS, with our detected vulnerabilities through our Wazoo agent. CVE scores tell us how severe a vulnerability is, but they don't always help us prioritize what to fix first. With vulnerability management, the number of vulnerabilities that you can observe across your environment can be uh, very substantial and also very overwhelming. We need a way to help prioritize, all right, what vulnerabilities across our environment do we need to solve now? Because just because they may have a higher CVE doesn't necessarily mean that they need to be fixed right away. A model for that is the EPSS model. So this is a model that predicts the vulnerability that will be exploited within the next 30 days. CVE scores assess the severity of a vulnerability based on factors like how easy it is to exploit, uh, the impact on confidentiality, integrity, and availability, where EPSS focuses specifically on the likelihood of an exploitation, which helps prioritize your vulnerabilities that are most likely to be targeted by attackers. A good example of this would be like Log4j, for example. The EPSS scores are also dynamically updated. What they're seeing out in the wild will reflect the score that are, is given to the given CVE. And there's a lot more information that you can read up upon on uh, their website as well. But in this video, I want to show you guys how we've also integrated that directly within Copilot. If I go into Copilot and I go onto one of my Wazoo agents here, Wazoo's vulnerability detection module is going to also give us the CVE. Now we want to know the EPSS score for this particular CVE. So I can go ahead and just select the EPSS score. And here I get back my results with my EPSS score. So here we're getting the date, which is when the EPSS score was uh, last calculated or last updated. We then get our EPSS which is a numerical value between zero and one, uh, representing the likelihood that the vulnerability will be exploited within the next um, 30 days. This is a very, very low percentage. This is like, what is that, 0.091%. So a probability of less than one that this specific vulnerability will be exploited in the near term. And then our percentile is indicating how this vulnerability score compares to all other vulnerabilities. A percentile of just over 39% means that this vulnerability has a higher likelihood of being exploited than about 39% of all other vulnerabilities. Uh, but conversely, it means that 61% have a higher likelihood of being exploited. This vulnerability is uh, unlikely to be exploited soon and wouldn't necessarily be an immediate priority for patching compared to maybe other uh, CVE values. Let me look at another agent here. Here's like a Linux one. I might have some criticals on this guy. Yeah, I do have some criticals. Uh, oh, PHP could be potentially be a good one. All right, so here we have a high uh, CVE score. Here we have an EPSS of 96, almost 97%. So here we have a very high probability that this uh, specific vulnerability will be exploited. Here we also have a percentile across the board of this CVE compared to other vulnerability. We have a 99%, meaning that only 0.34% of vulnerabilities have a higher likelihood of being exploited. This specific CVE, and of course with PHP having the reputation that it has, our EPSS score is telling us, hey, this is a, a vulnerability that you need to patch as soon as possible. Look at all of these uh, vulnerabilities that are being flagged for this specific host. And where do I start? Where, where should I prioritize out of all of these critical findings? The PHP version that's on uh, this system should be prioritized to be addressed first. That'll probably, I see a lot of other related PHP vulnerabilities. So that'll be something too that you guys will find as a, when it comes to vulnerability management. You may have a ton of CVEs, but in vulnerabilities being flagged, majority of them are associated with a particular package like PHP. We also have this free RDP. Uh, let's see what this guy gives us a score of. Here we have a much lower EPSS score. So when it comes to addressing the vulnerabilities on this particular host, I want to definitely address my upgrading my PHP version before I tackle looking at the free RDP package. 
hopefully this little integration into Copilot will help you guys uh, prioritize a little bit better when it comes to vulnerability management. That's going to wrap it up for today's video. I appreciate your time and I will see you in the next one.